We are on the famous West Course at Wentworth, known as the Burma Road, for the third Rolex Series event of the season, the BMW PGA Championship, a title that every, every European Tour professional would love to have on their resume. Welcome along. And it is a closing birdie, and it is a terrific fight back out there today from Tommy Fleetwood. How does that stay out? Don't know, half the ball's hanging over the hole. And Aaron Wright, lovely try at the par five fourth. Yeah, determined not to rest on his laurels after that victory last week to uh, keep it going. He has, he has. What a butt and what a run. And yes, there would have been a huge roar for that. Ali, whether I'd rather start at the first or the ninth, probably the first, I think, the two tough holes. Yeah, I think you like finishing with opportunities, 17 and 18, both par fives. Lovely yeah. shot there from Hatton. This group really spurring each other on at the moment. The gold star is the gold standard on the European Tour. That means they're a Rolex Series winner. Aaron Rye, who won last week, Shane Lowry and Tyrrell Hatton out ahead with Justin Harding. Sunshine and blustery showers on day two of this year's BMW PGA Championship. And this is at the 14th, David Howell. Coming along very nicely. Had three birdies up to here. And there is a prize for a hole in one. It is. Beautiful stuff. And that goes 71,000. Value of that car in the background goes to Alzheimer's Society. We knocked that in for a hole in one at the presentation at the end of this round. His bottle of champagne there, and as I say, the proceeds of how much that car actually costs will be handed to the Alzheimer's Society. So there you are, just over seventy thousand pounds. Five thirty touring. What a wonderful moment! And David will be very proud of that as his career moves on. The land area, so much easier for these players at the moment. Lovely stuff for um, Patrick Reid. It's more like it, pretty much guaranteed two there at the 10th. Tell you what, this is the secret. Haul more of these. That's the most disgusting thing I've seen for a while. That was very funny, that one. They hurt those ones. Run it out. Go on, run it out. No lip out this time, my boy. <laughs> Already three under on his round before this at 18 for birdie. taking him to nine under par and very much in contention. Quickly back to seven and Lowry. Starting it right, is it gonna come back? Oh, it is, what a beauty from the Irishman. So he's got that to go 12 under. Just trying to get a bit more length. You get the lob wedge, it comes out a bit too high there coming out low may even be a gap wedge that one. it's a beautiful shot go on get it oh what a start dog you're right incredible further left than he would have wanted it but it's making its way down now how about that for judgment astonishing goal from the second day there he is alongside lowry one ahead of tyrrell hatton
This is Jordan Smith at the par three second. Just got off to a par start, so he's tucked away the par on that difficult opening hole. Oh, and he's done something just a little better at the second. I think it has. <laughs> I think he said, he said go in or go in. <laughs> That's what you call a delayed reaction. <laughs> Whether it's one each or we shall remain to be seen. This didn't look very good. My oh my oh my. That's staggering. That must be one of the worst shots he's ever hit. Over on that left side today, just three off the edge. Eight on. Don't want to pull it in, into the left bunker. He's done nothing of the sort. Another glorious iron shot. Guess this, he climbs alongside Tommy Fleetwood and David Horsey. Somehow he knew it was going to happen before it did. Got it all to do because he's back in the group at 10 under alongside Reed Horsey and Fleetwood. And he'll begin the final round four back. Sound safe, secure. Mentally, that's a massive putt for Hatton. Had he missed that, he would have been. One over par for the last five holes, which is not acceptable uh, at Wentworth with the two par fives to finish. For the moment, the edge is further clear. Beautiful autumnal weather conditions for the final round of this year's BMW PGA Championship from the West Course. Yes, just like yesterday, it is an Eagle Three to close out. the most of it rather fancied him to go ahead and knock that in it's a good line excellent birdie birdie Down the shaft, quiet arms. Chap. And this is just a procession of brilliance. How does that not turn in? That's ridiculous. Can't hit a bear pack. Yeah. He's got another one, and Hatton moves. And he does. No problem at all. It's a closing 67 for the very happy Hatton. And Nick, well done. Here on many, many congratulations. Your third Rolex Series victory has come in an iconic championship here at Wentworth, one that you visited as a five-year-old boy and dreamt of winning. Yeah. Just what does it mean to you? Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. Thank you. Um, yeah, to, this was like a goal of mine to to win this tournament in my career, and um, part of me sad that I didn't get to experience the the crowd and stuff with the the grandstands, but I mean. It's, it's just amazing to, to win this trophy. When we chatted on the sixth hole, you admitted that early on you were as nervous as you've ever been, more nervous than even in Ryder mm. Cup. How were the emotions down the stretch? Victor Perez pushed you all the way. Yeah, well, I didn't, uh, didn't realise the position I was in stood on the 18th tee. 
and and then obviously I was I was pretty nervous on, on the fairway and I mean this is the worst golf shot I've, I've hit for a long time and um, just very lucky that it ended up on the fairway um, I kind of struggled a little bit with rhythm all day to be honest um, it's probably the worst I swung the club out the four days so to, to get over the line and, and kind of grind it out like I'm, I'm absolutely delighted with that a word for the sponsors of the European Tour for putting on an event of this stature in this difficult situation. Yeah, the, the European Tour has done a great job. I think um, we're all very thankful to, to be able to play golf during these tough times. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted that I can be their champion this week. Up to seventh in the race to Dubai, into the top ten in the world rankings for the first time ever. Off to the Masters in this sort of form in just a month's time. How excited about what could be coming up the rest of the year? Again like to, to break inside top 10 in the world is incredible again that was like a, a goal of mine uh, in my career and I'm, I'm delighted that these two have come in the same week um, and with the masters not not too far around the corner i'm looking forward to that but first things that first I'm, I'm looking forward to celebrating tonight to watch another european tour video click here and to subscribe click here